All right, big announcement from Glock on Facebook. Let's see, the Glock 30S. Ugh, who cares? When are they gonna come out with a single stack nine millimeter already? Let's see here, let me leave a Facebook comment. Single stack nine millimeter. Here we go, I to show them. Oh, another big announcement from Glock. What? Is this like Glock Facebook? Who gives a shit? Yeah, who cares? I was hoping for a single stack 9mm. Check out the Gunny's new book that's listed number one in men's health. Oh, God. Are there any chapters in there about the single stack Glock 9mm? It's pretty funny. Uh. All right. Single stack Glock! 380? This is such bullshit. I bet I could make a single stack Glock 9mm at home. Make a single stack Glock with a Glock 19 and a potato peeler. All right, here goes nothing. James, James, stop! What are you doing? What? What? Who's there? Is that God? No, but very, very close is me, Gaston Glock. Gaston Glock? How are you in my house? How are you in my head? Oh, I am a deity too. Don't you know that's why I'm infallible and I never make mistakes? Okay, if you never make mistakes, how do you explain the 45 gap? Oh, but maybe I shouldn't have said that. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm really, okay. I'm, I'm embarrassed. Nobody is perfect. I'm really embarrassed right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But look, do you want to be blessed or not? Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, bless me. I have heard your prayers and I've read your super annoying Facebook posts. I knew that would work. Now let me bless you. Uh... Oh my gosh, it's a single stack Glock 9mm. What can I do to repay you for this, Gaston Glock? Well, for one, you can stop wearing such tight shirts. I, I don't... What? It's a little offensive. You're a little offensive. Okay, um, oh, okay, do you want, you want the gun or not? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, sorry, sorry, thank you. No problem, I'm off to go replace my wife now, goodbye! Hey guys, James again for TFB TV. Today, I am more than thrilled to finally bring you better late than never, the review of the single stack Glock 9mm, the Glock 43. Now, some of you may know that I've been pestering Glock for a little bit to get one of these. Um, over the years, I've posted on their Facebook page, um, really pestered them, harassed them. Finally, thank God, here it is. Now, I just picked this one up yesterday, and it truly is a Glock through and through. It looks like it's Big Brothers. It feels the same way. It's got the same trigger. This is a Glock. And I'm just hoping it doesn't let me down. I'm hoping that there's not any decrease in quality or reliability just because you're stepping down from the double stack to the new platform in the single stack. You're looking at a six plus one capacity. Now, comparing the Glock 43 to one of my personal favorite carry guns, the Car CM9, you can see that the car is a little bit shorter in terms of barrel length. They're almost identical in terms of height, if, if not identical. All in all, the car seems like a slightly smaller gun. I think they're about the same thickness. So if you like the cars, if you like the dimensions of the cars, I think the car is going to be slightly smaller, slightly lighter. But that said, 
This is definitely a subcompact gun right up there with the CAR PM9 and CM9 series. And while Glock packages two magazines in the box, you get a six rounder with the flush fit. There's also a six rounder with an extension, but unfortunately, the extension, you don't get any additional capacity. But fortunately, there are already manufacturers on the market making plus one and plus two extensions that are ab about the same size as the Glock factory pinky extension magazine. So you get a little bit more capacity. And for those of you that don't like to dangle a pinky uh, whenever you're shooting your concealed carry gun, that's going to appeal to you and bump your capacity up to as high as eight rounds. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, guys, I've got 250 rounds of 124 grain 9 millimeter ammunition from our sponsor Ventura Munitions that they sent to do this video. I'm going to run through 240 rounds. For those of you who are not so hot at math on the fly, that's 20 magazines. 40 magazines. I'm going to run 40 six round magazines through this Glock. It's right out of the box, unlubricated. Let's see how it performs. Well, that's a good start. Now, I am thrilled to death about this. That's got the exact same trigger as my Glock 17, my Glock 19, so the transition is flawless. This is really gonna appeal to you guys who are already big Glock fans. Uh, shoots like a dream, has a very interesting captive recoil spring that I can see now that the slide's locked back. Functions perfectly. Let's do that 38 more times. Let's keep it rolling. There's my pinky extension mag. If you really want to go deep concealment like a pocket gun, um, that pinky extension makes a huge difference and I would go without it, um, especially when it doesn't add capacity like this one from the factory. If you can get a plus one or a plus two from a third party manufacturer, by all means, add it on there. But still, it really takes away from your ability to cram it in your pocket. And also with a flush fit, you're gonna be more likely to stuff it in your jeans pocket or something like that and be okay. Insert joke here on how I'm not even gonna be able to fit one of these in my jeans anyways. And it's nice to have the same trigger, that same squishy clean break trigger that you have on your carry gun as you do your 17, 19, 26, whatever that you have at home. Um, it's got the same stippling and the same large, robust magazine release as the newer Gen 4 guns do. Why would I take this gun over, say, something popular like an LC9? Well, again, if you're a Glock owner, this gun's going to appeal to you just because, again, you're getting uniformity across the platform. Now, other than that, I think this offers you a lot more options than the LC9. The LC9 is a good gun, but uh, I feel like with the Glock for $450, $430 to $450 street price, uh, you're, you're getting a lot more. Um, it seems to be a better made gun. The trigger is definitely better. My main beef with the uh, with the LC9 and with the Ruger 380s is the, really the sights and the trigger. Now, Ruger has done themselves a huge favor by making the LC9S. That's the new LC9 that's striker fired. That makes the trigger competitive with that of the Glock, and I think you're going to pay a little bit less for the LC9. That said, you know, the LC9 is a good gun. Uh, I, I think the LC9 is a good pick. Um, you can get Caltech PF9s for what, like $200, $220. This is a way better gun than the PF9, but that said, it isn't like you're losing out if you were to get an LC9 or if you were to get the PF9. Now, the tricky part is when you throw the CAR CM9 into the mix. As I showed you earlier, the CAR, the CM9 is almost identical 
in size and weight to the Glock, if not smaller, and it has the same capacity. Well, you can also find those for around 300 bucks if you look hard enough. So the Glock cost $150 more than the Car C series. Now, given the opportunity, I'm probably gonna carry the Glock 43 more than what was my daily carry, the CM9, the Car CM9. But the only reason for that is because I have so many other Glocks and I shoot Glocks and I've got a history with Glock, I shoot GSSF. So for me, this is an appealing option for carry. I think the CM9 subjectively has a slightly better trigger, even though I really do like the Glock trigger. A lot of people hate the Glock trigger, a lot of people hate the car trigger, so it's a toss up. And I guess I would make the same comments about the Smith & Wesson Shield as I would about the car. And the Shield is a bigger gun, but that said, it also costs about $100 less than this one and it performs just as well. The Shield is an excellent carry gun. So if having a little bit bigger butt, if you're gonna go Sir mix a lot on them, you might want to go with the Shield and save yourself 100 bucks. Okay, let's shoot a dozen rounds of Winchester Plus P 124 grain hollow point through this Glock and let's see how it takes it. So far, so good. This thing's really killing it. Not bad. So in conclusion, I think the Glock 43 is long overdue. It's an excellent concealed carry pistol. And if you watch my top five concealed carry pistols, you'll see that this was my top pick. Why is that? Well, as I said throughout the video, I think that this gun offers a lot more than a lot of the other more popular options on the market. It has a better trigger than the LC9. Glock's got a longer track record for reliability than companies like Car, which, which I love, by the way. I, I love my Car PM9, which is in fact a little bit smaller than this gun. And uh, this one's also a little bit smaller than the Shield. And if you want to compare it across the Glock line, this one is a lot thinner than the Glock 26 and a lot easier to conceal, but you're still getting 9mm. Now compare that to the Glock 42, which is a 380, and there's nothing wrong with carrying a single stack 380. It's just that the Glock 42 is almost the same size as the Glock 43, whereas the Glock 43 is roughly the same dimensions, weight, as its peers in the single stack 9mm market. The Glock 42 is much larger than uh, Keltec, Ruger, um, car, whatever they would have to offer in the single stack 380 market. So that's why I believe the Glock 43 is one of the best choices right now for single stack 9mm. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Thanks as usual for watching. Thanks to the subscribers, but thank you most of all to our sponsor, Ventura Munitions. I appreciate it, guys. See you next week. Hey, guys, it's Alex again with TFP TV. Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you did, we've actually just launched a Patreon page. If you could consider donating a dollar or two a month, it would really help us out and allow us to continue doing this. And uh, we like doing it, and we hope you enjoy watching the videos. Until next time.